Today, me and my dad are working on a Ram 3500-2004. And what are we changing today, Dad? We're going to change the lift pump. Lift pump. On a 5.9 diesel. This Cotter lift pump set comes with the lift pump, a tube seal, other miscellaneous part, parts, bubble wrap, and construct and instructions. In the 2003 model, it comes with a hose, a clamp, and a fitting because the hose is not removable on a 2003. But we're working on a 2004 today, and the hose is removable. So, the, so that's why they gave us a hose. So we won't be needing that. So the so, first thing we need to do is put a drain bucket under the truck. Done, if you can see that. And come up here and we're going to drain the fuel filter housing. Which is going to be... Down here there's a yellow switch. If you guys can see that, right there. Right there, that yellow switch. Switch is normally closed in this position. Yes. We're going to just turn this switch like this, and it's going to drain the fuel filter housing down this tube into our bucket down below. Which our bucket might be full soon. Yeah, the bucket's practically full. The next thing we need to do is undo the electrical connector on the back for the lift pump, which is located right here. Which is like a yellowish red thing on the back. It's gray with a usually black cord. Just push the button on the back and wiggle it out gently and it unplugs from the lift pump. Next thing we need is an Allen key socket, 3 sixteenths. Show a picture of that. We'll lift zoom back so you can see it a little better. There you go. And we're gonna undo the four bolts on the back that hold the lift pump in place to the fuel and filter have, housing. And here they are removed already. We have, take, we have removed them and we have put some some Loctite on the some, threads. Some Loctite, some Loctite on the threads. For, for reinstall later. For reinstalling later. Okay, now we have the lift pump. We just gently wiggled it off the back of the fuel filter housing. See it down there in the picture? Mm, uh, maybe. That, yeah, that's the old thing. Come over on this side. Thing. There it is. See right here? And on the bottom, it's held on with a clamp. The hose is held on with a clamp right here. Mm -hmm. We're just going to undo the clamp with a pair of pliers and wiggle that hose off there. Which we should do as a demonstration. Once you have dropped it, you cannot see it. But then you will be able to reach your hand and get it. Right, like he here. will do now. There, he has some needle nose pliers. Taking them off. You have to gently wiggle it off. Like when you're unplugging something like... There it is, it just pulls off? Like, you have to wiggle it off really goodly so it doesn't break it like a phone charger or something. All right, bud, grab me the new pump. Now, we will go get the new pump. The pump and the pipe. No, we just need the pump. We just need the pump. So just the pump. Bring her back up here, quick. Quickly, you gotta bring it back up there so nothing leaks. We're gonna undo this red cap off of here. It just undo, pulls off. It just pulls off the cap. Video? Did you videotape that? Uh, that this red cap just pulls off pretty easy, and you can see it's kind of a little bit wet under there. Do do not be alarmed of that. That was just the safety cap. Well, we're going to just put the hose, we're going to pull the plug off the bottom of the new pump, right? Pull the plug off the bottom of the new pump. Go ahead. And then go get the other hose. Pull that off. And then pull this off. Which... Wiggle. Uh, just give it a little wiggle. Which, there we have it. Okay. It's up there. Now we're just going to put the hose back on with the clamp. Put the hose back on with the clamp. Get the See now. Let's turn that a little bit. Turn that a little bit. And we just position it back into place. Position it back into place. 
Just gently wiggle. Give it a gentle wiggle. And push it straight on. And push it straight on. Install the four bolts. Install the, install the four bolt, bolts once you've taken them off. So it will be secured tightly. Plug in the connector. Plug in the connector. Close, close the water drain valve on the fuel filter housing. Close the water drain valve on the fuel filter housing. Cycle the key from S off to the run position without cranking. Cycle the key from the off position without it running. Check for leaks. Check for leaks. Repeat the key cycle six times. Re repeat the key cycle six times. And your lift pump is installed. And your lift pump is installed. And that's how we install a lift pump on a 2004 5.9 Dodge Diesel. Thanks for watching.